Thanks a lot. So hello, uh, my name is Matias Martinez from the University Polytechnic Catalonia. And I have done this experiment with the collaboration of Ivano Manavolta and Gianluca Scotia, and with the help of this number of six students or five students from the University of Amsterdam. They help. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> sorry for the, the mistake. <laughs> Uh, so they help us with this uh, experiment. So before, before to start, I want to clarify what is Kotlin, because it's in the title, but many people don't know what is Kotlin, actually. Kotlin is a programming language that was introduced like 10 years ago, and actually it became very famous because it makes uh, different uh, programming paradigms like object-oriented programming, functional programming, and also it, 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 the, the soft code is compiled to the Java virtual machine uh, infrastructure, okay? That means that Kotlin is fully interoperable with Java. Hmm? So they, both Java and Kotlin code runs on a Java virtual machine. So um, why we are discussing about Kotlin? Okay, because Kotlin is used for programming Android applications. So actually, if you have some application from, from Meta, from Facebook, most of those applications have been migrating from Java to Kotlin, okay? So some years, some years ago, Kotlin became the main programming languages for Android, so was adopted by Google as um, official programming languages for Android applications. So there are many developers that have migrated their applications initially written in Java to Kotlin. And others developers have started writing their application from scratch in Kotlin, okay? So some years ago, we have done a study in the adoption of Kotlin in open source applications, Android, Android application in particular, and we have found that around the 11% of the applications were written in Kotlin. Actually, they have at least some part of the application written in Kotlin because for some applications, we can mix Java and Kotlin. So we can see that here, the distribution of the amount of code, that there are a lot of applications that are mostly written in Kotlin, and there are some applications that mix Java and Kotlin. And we have seen different trends. Applications that are initially written in Java and they migrate to Kotlin. So in this paper, we want you to know the energy consumed of those applications in the process of migration, and actually in the evolution of these applications. So if we have different versions of one application written in Java or in Kotlin, we wanted to measure the energy consumption of those applications to know whether the use of Kotlin increase the energy consumption or not. So, in this study, we study, we focus on Android applications. So we focus on open source applications because the reason is that we can inspect the, the code that is behind. So we focus on Kotlin applications, most of the code written in Kotlin. Um, we try to select applications with a good test cases. So to, to, to be sure that we take application that has good quality, active de development, and with at least 10 releases in, so that, that means the release is an APK uh, file, okay? Finally, we choose three applications. So here the we finalize so with 11 applications, uh, uh, in release, um, in Abit and, uh, and Anki Android. So, once we have, we have the three applications at the different release, we actually drop this, uh, write some scenarios for testing each of the main functionality of those applications. Then we execute the scenarios and measure the energy consumed by running these scenarios. And then we analyze the energy consumes along 
the history, that means on each release, and we detect or analyze all the spikes and drops in the energy consume, consumption. And finally, each time that we found a spike or a drop, we analyze the release node to understand what is happening, why it produced a spike in the consumption from one release to another one. And here are the results. I will split the results in three, one for each application. This is the plot of the energy consumed by this application. The first one that is the uh, Wi-Fi analyzer. So we can see that actually we have an upward trend in the energy consume, consumptions. Here in this part of the history, each point is a, the energy consumed by one release, okay? Here we, we can see that there were the migration from Shaba to Kotlin. And here we observe that the migration for, from Shaba to Kotlin did not affect the energy consumed by the application, okay? However, here we see that there is a spike on the energy consumed by the application. Here, um, here in this case, we inspect the, change, the, the, the changes that were introduced by this revision. We didn't find any major change, any new features. However, one thing that we have seen is that in that version, they have upgraded the Android, um, the support for, uh, they have added support for a new version of Android. So and according with some papers, some ready papers, that they say that that may be a source of uh, energy uh, consumption. So that, that, that can explain the, the spike, but we cannot assure that this is the main reason. For the second application, here we see that the migration takes some release to be complete. So here we have observed different spikes uh, and drops, okay? For instance, here in this spike, we have seen that the developer have introduced a new feature and that feature consumed a lot of energy that were removed in the next version, okay? And then was introduced here later, but we can see that here the introduction that they fixed the problem that they had this new feature and consume less. And finally, here this application that we can see that the migration took longer. And we observed that there were a lot of spikes here in the energy consume, in consumption. Here in the migration, the the developers have test different features, migrate, doing some trials, we can say. And they have, for instance, in this, at this at the beginning, they have in, done a lot of improvement that can reduce the energy uh, consumed by these applications. For instance, for improving some animations um, and remove some GIFs that consume a lot of energy. So, in general, to conclude, we have seen in this preliminary study, we analyzed three applications. We would like to analyze more applications to see more different cases. But in general, we have seen an upward trend in the energy consum consumption. So we would like to study which are the more in, in fine grain, um, which are the, the roots of this energy uh, spikes, for instance, whether the introduction of Kotlin of the use of Kotlin impacts the energy, because right now we cannot assure that the introduction of Kotlin have uh, an impact on the energy uh, of the applications. And of course, we need to use more uh, applications for test the energy consumed by one application before that the application is released, okay? If you have any question, I will be, I will be happy to answer, thanks.